If you've never used document tabs before, it can be a little bit confusing the very first time, but I promise after you've used it once, you're never gonna wanna use a Google Doc the same again. Once you're inside a document that has document tabs, if they don't automatically open on the left-hand side of your screen, you can simply tap this button and it will show what tabs exist. Now it's important to know that tabs can be nested and each of these tabs act like their own individual document. I can switch between tabs by just clicking to the other document, but you'll notice this little arrow here shows me that there's additional tabs beyond that. You'll want to open that arrow and then you'll be able to see all the additional content that's potentially nested in that document tab. You can make some quick edits by hitting the three arrows. From this menu, you can either delete, duplicate, rename, or even choose a fun emoji to symbolize whatever tab you're on. To reorder document tabs, all you need to do is click and drag, or I can even put it in a different substack if I want. If a document has headings and you wanna use those to navigate the document, you can click on the document tab you're on and it's gonna expand out those document headings. I can then just click on any of the headings and it's gonna automatically take me to that location in the document. If I'm feeling really crazy, I can even add sub tabs to my sub tabs. So in the instance like this launch document, I could have something that is for the day of a particular launch and then maybe I wanna have all my social content in its own tab. If you ever feel like the document tabs are in your way, all you need to do is click the little arrow and it'll collapse out of your way. Now, I don't know about you, but I am literally obsessed. It is my favorite feature of Google Docs. I will forever be merging documents, adding more things to one place so it can have a central location to find things.